Hey there slackers, welcome to Panamani Games, my name is Twisted and today we are once again playing Concrete Jungle. So you guys seem to really 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 like this game and I will play it some more for you guys. I reset my progress, you can do that in the options menu which is always nice, I really like when games have that feature because when I record stuff sometimes I want to reset my progress to start from the beginning, that always feels great. So we're gonna be playing the campaign, I'm gonna start from the beginning. Oh, we have only one level available. It's a tutorial, but it's still fairly, fairly fun. Let's start the game and let's rock. All right. There will be quite a bit of dialogue and I will not skip it because it's really, really good. I want you guys to hear it and enjoy Welcome it. Welcome to the small town of Hollyville. My name is Lainey and I'm here to show you the ropes. Looking around is pretty easy. You can use the right mouse or the keyboard's cursor or W, A, S and D keys. I cannot press any hotkeys to skip this, it seems. Fine. You can also zoom in and out using the mouse wheel or the R and F keys. Right. Usually kind of unusual. Why use R and F keys when you can use the mouse wheel? I mean, some, some people don't have the mouse wheel, so it's nice. But it's really strange. In front of you, there is a small grid upon which you can... I'd never use R and F to zoom when I have access to a mouse wheel, I guess. But I guess there are, like, people that don't have a mouse and that just don't have, like, the slider thing on the keyboard. Those buildings are determined by a series of cards. Let's draw some now and get started. Let's. That will do nice. Yay! At the top here is the next card in your This is a school. List. It's a school. Pretty useful. I agree. On the card is a small Go to school, kids. Grid with a building icon in the middle. This displays the building's effect on its adjacent tiles. Blue squares represent plus one point. So the school will give plus one points to the tiles immediately adjacent to it. Which makes sense. Let's select the school. With a card selected, you can now place it. Notice how the blue highlights represent the area effect as displayed on the card. Yes, I know. Let's put the school here. Yes, let's, let's do that. Yeah, sounds fine. You'll notice there are now some plus score markers on the empty tiles that were affected by the school. If we place point collecting buildings on those positive scoring tiles, we'll get. Points. I think we can actually turn off the pluses and minuses in here. Uh, I mean, I don't have to do that, but I think I saw the option somewhere. I could be completely wrong, though. I guess, I'm guessing return is the hotkey. Yeah, it is. Great. Awesome. I like that. The next card in your build list is a houses card. By far the most common point collecting building. We're gonna use it a lot. Notice how it tells you on the card if the building collects points or not. So let's get some let's points. Let's see it here. Yay, let's get some points. I'll place the house over here. Great. I have one point now. If you've seen my cool first video on Clock Jungle, you know how this game works. Of the school's area effect and the house. We have a target to reach for each column. Currently, that target is two. You can see your current target right here in the top right. In order to fulfill that target for each column, we need to use a combination of buildings that affect their surroundings and point collecting buildings. Next up, we have a car wash. This card also has some red squares, which means it will have a negative effect on those tiles. But crucially, it has positive effects in the places we need right now to bring our house up to two. Select and place the car wash so that our house is given another point. All right, I'll place it here or here. I think one it actually doesn't matter at all because this will disappear anyway. So let's place it and let's place it here. We now have two points in the first column thanks to our house, school, and car wash. That's a nice place to live in. Also notice how the red negative area effect from the car wash canceled out one of the points from the school. Now the first column is complete. Look what happens. Oh no, it goes away, but we can bring it back by looking at it. The column has been cleared. That means you bank the points from that column. Oh, here are the counters. And added to your total score. Right. It also means you get a new empty column to build in here. Doesn't seem to right. do anything. The immediate aim of the game is always to clear the first column, but you'll have to plan ahead with your building placements in order to do that. For future and it gets kind of tricky later on, to Those be honest. Basics. But let me show you what happens if you forget to place a point collecting building in a column. Fill this column with the following non point collecting buildings. All right, if any building area effects spill off the side of the grid, they will have no effect. 
You can use this to your advantage sometimes. All right. So let's place a brewery. Uh, let's actually place the factory here because we don't, we don't want it to go to the school. Let's place a, two breweries right next to the school now we have no because kids want to drink. Yeah, sometimes. This sometimes they do. Happen to you sometimes, but just to be clear, it's something you want to try and avoid. And not just because we have a brewery and factory next to a school. With no means of collecting points, this column cannot reach its target. Therefore, it's just going to sit there while we fill up the rest of the empty land. We Once the first column is filled, you'll notice this little button flashing at you. All we have to do is click it to force clear. Ta-da! However, force clearing isn't free. Of course it's not. It would be too simple. You can see how many lives you have left here. Make sure I have you to. use your lives sparingly. Once you run out, you'll fail the level. Now see if you can complete past this column here using the next batch of buildings. I totally can. It's gonna be real freaking simple. Let's just some things here. Wanna place a supermarket down here, I guess. Place a house here, place a shop, place a school right here, and we are we reached our goal. Are we not? We need to also clear this area. Oh, okay. That should be actually kind of difficult. <laughs> okay, never mind. We have a school. Uh, we'll place the school over there. So we want to place things like here. We can place a car wash. And we can place the factory, I don't know, here, I guess. And school can go here. That will clear our two lanes at the same time. Actually, three of them, because we have a lot of stuff here already. The next challenge. Right. Awesome, area complete. Let's do one more. As this was really, really, really short. All right, uh, looter field, sell mode simplified. All right, be fairly simple. Since you did such a good job at Hollyville, well, apart from the whole school factory brewery debacle. Which was kind of my fault. It totally was your fault. I've hired you to develop in the county of Luther Fields, a small commuter town south of the city. You know what to do. Just a few small differences this time. You now have two times as many builds. Which is awesome. It you allows me to do a lot more things. Either of the cards in the white bracket. It's gonna be a lot simpler. Oh, the excitement. Us government employees need to appreciate the little things. I've also thrown some new buildings into the mix. We have the greens. One. Yes, the card is yellow. Get used to it. It's one of my favorite entry-level cards. It's really cool. It you choose a tile around it really is an two. awesome card. I like it a lot. Super useful. All right. So we can uh, switch between these cards All you have by pressing E. Is place it where you want as normal. We're just selecting them the with the mouse. Then appear to show you where you can apply the card's buff. Just select where you want to apply the buff. Oh, I don't want to place it there. Oh, I pressed enter. Yeah, plus, okay, pressing enter does that. Okay, good, good to know. You can do so by clicking the X icon that appears over the chosen build position. Yes. If you ever get confused about what a card does, you can right click on any card at any time in the game to have a closer look and find out more about what it does. You need to develop the land without running out of lives. This bar here shows you how close you are from completion. It will fill with blueness as you clear columns. One more thing. The column target is now. Oh, I didn't want to place that. Oh, crap. Nothing you can't handle, right? Good. Uh, going back to City Hall, I've got so much paperwork to do with the coming election. Catch you later. All right, awesome. So we can now play on our own, which is great. We have two of them here that will allow us to place a house. It's going to be great. Um, I'm gonna place a factory for and this is the location, I guess. We can place a brewery here. A house with points can go over here. Another house can also probably go here. And have a supermarket in this location. We can place a library, let's say here. Actually, let's let's place a thing here. A house can go over here. Oh, we need three, not two. Okay, that's that's something to keep in mind. Uh, so I may have messed up a little tiny bit, but not too much. It's okay. Well, let's actually connect you here. Park Square. I should have actually put Park Square here. That was, silly, that was a silly mistake. I'll place this over here. Yeah, I don't want to right-click. I want to just place this. A house can go over here. That's three houses, one lane. Not super optimal, but it does work for us. This will also disappear at the same time. 
have to remember to actually place some stuff in here. We don't want to waste our points. Car wash can go over here. A house can place one here. Another one can go here. Supermarket can go in this location quite easily. We need a green. Let's place a green like over here. Factory could place it there. School can go here with no problems. Car wash also here. So we have two locations that are completely done. Awesome. We can place a shop. Once you get used to it, it's actually really simple. Maybe playing a little bit too fast for you guys right now. But it's actually, it's quite, quite simple. You, you'll get the hang of it, no problem. It shouldn't take you too long. Green, we can place a green, I don't know, let's say here. Oh, I, I, no, I made a, I placed a house. Crap, I got, oh crap. Uh, not quite what was planned. Okay, but we still, we still have it. That, that's a house. Okay, I have to be careful. I have, I'm placing the wrong things. Uh, school. Go over there, a house, let's place a house here. I need to waste some point, but it's all right. Car wash, we can place that. I don't want to place it there actually. I want to place it like here. A house. I actually totally messed up. Actually, I didn't. I didn't mess up at all. Okay, it's 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 still fine. Um, place a factory, let's say here. Marking can go over here. We just need a green like that and a house here that's gonna fill our lanes up quite quite nicely. We can place this here. A house. We can go here, a park square can go over here, and add a shop. I wear all the readers roll, awesome, that was fairly quick. Um, I don't want to mess this up at, like, at all. I want to place a house here, I want to place a house here. And that's gonna be the end of the level, I think. At least it should be, unless I made a huge mistake. We can look at our entire city here, it looks quite nice. Excellent. It was awesome. Area complete, awesome, yeah, hell yeah, that's really cool. We unlocked a new card, the wholesaler. Which is not one of my favorite cards, but it will get the job done. But yeah, I think I can actually end this first episode here. If you guys enjoy this new mini series, please feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. It helps out a great, great deal, especially since this is the first episode of a new series. It also make me really, really happy. And your comments, I always like reading your comments. I like to reply to them. Uh, as long as you have replies enabled, a lot of people have replies disabled, so I cannot actually talk to you. So if you have just double if you want me to reply just double check that you have replies enabled because if you don't i cannot actually reply which makes a lot of sense yeah thank you guys so much for watching my name's been twisted from hyperbanda games now we'll see you next time